Hey, what's up YouTube, down the Fix It Man. Got another quick video here for you. Got a 2022 Toyota Tundra here with four catalytic converters that I'd like to protect. This company, Miller Cat, sent me this catalytic converter protector shield. It's called Cat Shield. Now this is a TRD, a non-hybrid by the way. The hybrid version of their Cat Shield does come with a little extender piece on the bottom. This also acts as a skid plate, which will protect the underside of the vehicle from rocks and whatnot, and it'll protect your converters from getting banged up on a rock if you're gonna do some serious off-roading. This is actually a TRD, but does not have that TRD skid plate. If you do have the skid plate, they're going to send you two longer bolts because essentially you're going to sandwich that in underneath the TRD skid plate and basically connect the two together. But in our case, it uh, should be a pretty straightforward install. You can simply unbolt it. If you do ever need to remove this for any type of service or transmission service or anything like that, that's the thing I like about this is it is just a bolt on. These do have the security bits. This is a, it's like a five point similar to like a Torx security type of bit, but this would be a lot harder to get or harder for a thief to find, but they do send that bit. So just hold on to that, make sure you don't lose it. Each of these screw holes, they're all countersunk. And so all of the fasteners are going to be countersunk and somebody would have a really hard time cutting off the heads of bolts, you know, with a grinder or even a sawzall. Now they do point out that their shields might have some surface imperfections, which I do see. It's not a big deal, but uh, just keep that in mind. I mean, just the nature of the material and, and running it through for manufacturing. I mean, it's gonna be under the truck, so it's gonna get scuffed up a little bit. They also recommend professional installation. This should be a pretty easy job. I, I think most people could do it yourself. Now, the first thing we need to do is get these sides put on here, and that's gonna be with these short bolts that come in the kit. It's a good idea to wear some gloves or something to protect your fingers and hands because the edges of these can be very sharp. This is just a quarter inch socket and putting the little security bit in here, and I'm just gonna hold it in there with a piece of duct tape. I think that'll help kind of hold that in place while we do the install. Should be pretty easy. Just get these all started. Now, the instructions say to not use a drill or an impact, which I normally would, but uh, we'll just follow the instructions. All right, now it says the torque specs for these tamper-proof screws, 68 to 135 inch pounds, but just kind of go by feel, which means make them snug. Don't get too carried away or you'll snap something or strip something. Okay, let's do the other side. I saw someone mention as far as these security bits, you know, in case somebody does find one of these, you could maybe smear some silicone in there in each of these holes, which will make that harder for them to get a bit in there and get that undone. Now, of course it makes it harder for you too, but you could probably pick it out when you've got time, pick out the silicone and still be able to take these off in the future. All right, now we've got the sides on. Looks like it's ready to move it in under the truck. Now, this shield is actually pretty heavy, so they suggest having somebody help you hold it up. And what I'm gonna do is I just grab this little file cabinet, little plastic one, and I'm just gonna pull this up underneath here, and then I'm gonna set the shield on top of that. And I might even put another smaller box on top of here to press it up even higher. Let's see how that works real quick. So here's the two nut plates and the two longer screws. And these are the ones they want you to start with. I think I've got it supported enough to where I can get this up there and get this started. Just put the long bolt through here, up through that hole, and then get the nut plate on the top. The instructions say to leave these loose, so we'll still be able to move around the front and line that up. These front ones are actually pretty easy because there's threaded holes already in this part of the frame. You just push up on the shield, see if we can line that up. Now that we've got three holding it, we can move this out of the way. And then the last one in the front just should line up fairly easy. Just get that started. Okay, this looks good. Now we just need to tighten them all. Let's make them all nice and snug. Don't go crazy. You can, you can easily strip this out or pull those threads. That's why I kind of like the idea of a small ratchet. It really prevents you from overdoing it. Now when you tighten the back ones, I'm just holding my hand up here on the nut plate just to make sure that that doesn't spin but it feels like it's not. So we'll just make this nice and snug, just like the front. And the last one here. 
And that's it, that was a pretty easy job. That actually went a lot quicker and smoother than I expected. I'll tell you, this uh, this actually feels really heavy duty. I'm impressed with the overall quality, the material. I would definitely pick this up. If you got a 2022 or newer Tundra, you know that you are gonna be targeted for your catalytic converters. If a thief rolls underneath here and sees that the converters are really blocked by this shield, I would imagine they would just go elsewhere. They're really not gonna fuss with this. It's gonna take them a lot longer to figure this out or figure out how to take the shield off or start to cut it. And of course, it's gonna make a lot of noise just like this airplane. These thieves are getting so brazen. They're stealing these just about anywhere you go. Parking lot, shopping mall, a movie theater, wherever. They're just getting under, they have no shame, and they're just hacking these off and taking them and recycling them for the precious metals inside. I mean, the cost on replacing these is thousands of dollars. Just dealing with the hassle, the headache, the insurance, and even just going out and starting your truck and having, you know, having that open exhaust. I mean, it's just, it's so deflating, so upsetting. Hopefully you're not watching this video because it did happen to you, but if you've got a 2022 Tundra or newer and they haven't been stolen, I I definitely would pick this up. You know, you can also paint and engrave the converters. That also helps, but I like the idea of the shield, just making it so they can't even get to them without a lot of extra steps or a lot of extra hassle. So I think it's worth it. I would definitely pick this up. I hope you liked the video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you don't mind. That does help me out. Thanks to MillerCat for sending this to me. I am impressed with the overall quality. This is made in the USA, by the way, but overall very impressed and uh, like the look, I like the feel, like the quality. Definitely would recommend you pick this up. I'll get a link in the description where you can pick up one of these cat shields as well along with a little coupon code that you can enter in and get a little discount thanks so much for watching and good luck